Hi everyone, my name is Yuan Qiju. This is the Good Five presentation, the Blue Ocean Strategies of the Autism Community Network. At first, let me show you the overview. In my part, I will give a brief introduction about ACN and explain one of the Blue Ocean Strategies tools, which is the Buyer Utility Map. Second, Jachi will show another tool, the three tier of the non customer and the creation of the BOS. Then, Shirley and Lynette will provide two different recommend solutions. And at last, Zijian will give the four handles and the project view with the conclusion. Okay, let's get started. Autism Community Network is a charity funding in September 2011 to provide support and service to individual and family affected by autism. The network now has the member in more than 1,700 families across in New South Wales. However, the development of the ACN also faced many challenges. First, it's like enough income and NDIS funding to operate and expand its organization. Second, compared with its competitor, ACN like specialized service and product to help the people with autism. At the same time, the awareness and service scope of ACN only provide in New South Wales, which is also a big limitation. With an overview of the ACN background and challenges, let's return to the study of the Blue Ocean Strategies. Basically, the buyer utility map is one of the most useful BOS tools to help the manager identify which utility model are currently available and which are going to be available through the Blue Ocean Strategies in the future. Combined with the table analyzed as the current surveys provided by ACN, such as Key Club and the Social Group, um, are of the public welfare nature. Um, so they mainly focus on the use of process and the feeling of the people with the autism. Again, this survey and network operation also require regular maintenance. After Blue Ocean Strategies is implemented, we predict that the customer purchasing process will be greatly improved and assets will be diversified and convenient. At the same time, we will also provide a unique supplement solution to enhance the ACN competitiveness and make ACN stand out from its competitor. Therefore, in general, manager can directly see how the utility change in comparisons through the buyer map to help the ACN convert the non-customer into their customer. Thank you for your listening. That's all my presentation. And my partner will continue the next part. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is Jia Qi. Today, I'm going to talk about the creation of Blue Ocean Strategy and the three types of non-customers. At first, we find ACN is a non-profit organization, and it is in the Red Ocean market. Therefore, ACN needed to use Blue Ocean Strategy to open a new market, which is an untested, untested market to earn profits. So we provided two strategies for ACN to use. The first is the agency company. The second is the technology. Then I will use three tires of non-customers to help ACN to make non-customers to be the new customers. Firstly, I will introduce what is the three tires of non-customers. The first tire is soon to be non-customers who are on the edge of the market and waiting to jump ship. These customers might be unsatisfied with their current company. If they find any other company provide better resource or service, they will leave. The second tier is refusing non-customers, which is a consistently and rejecting our company. These non-customers are totally reject our products and service. The third tier is exploited non-customers, which are in market distant from our industry and they are never touch and uh, never touch our industry and not be considered to be a target market by other company. Um, these are what is the, what is the three types of non-customers. Next, I will continue to introduce more details about our industry, uh, about our strategies and the customers. First of all, I will introduce agency company in, with three types of non-customers. The first tire is soon to be, that is a high hunter, high in company, and uh, autism org organization and the university. 
these clients will believe if they already made other companies will um, and which can provide vital resource and and uh, service. Therefore, they are not stable. The second type of non-customers of agency company is refusing. They have a highly price sensitive. They may and they might unsatisfied um, of the price which is our provided for to the customer, and they think that it is unreasonable. Uh, therefore, they are totally reject our product and service. The third tire of non-customer is autistic people who inability to seek a job. This is because autistic people have very less communication skills, and they cannot give uh, give other response in time. So these actions will result autistic people cannot actively to seek job. Therefore, other agency companies will not consider these people as a target market. So next, I will continue to discuss three types of non-customers and technology. At first, autistic, autistic young people and families can be seen as a soon to be non-customers. Because of young people and family are interested to use technology to help them, but when they meet lower price product or service, and the more um, features, uh, the features of technologies, they will prefer them and leave us. The second tire is refu refusing of non-customers is close-minded people. The reason why the close-minded people reject to buy technologies from our company, um, that is, they don't want to spend much time to learn how to use it. And they prefer to seek help from the trained and uh, professional staffs. The last tire is unexploded. This can be understood as the same people who hide uh, autism. Many people believe that that bad feeling is just an emotion, not autism. So they are never considered to touch autism related product and service. So that's all of my part. Okay, hello everyone, my name is Shirley Wang. Next, I would focus on our first recommended Blue Ocean strategy. That is to create a technological side of autism related services for our customers. Based on phase two, we know that ACN doesn't believe it has competitors in the market. It tends to cooperate with other autism support providers to reach more people affected by autism. So our organization's objectives are similar to ACN, that is to serve people living with autism. ACN provided service for free and is unable to provide more professional services compared with other charities, like Aspect. It's also run an autism-specific school to generate income. So first, I will be talking to you about the strategy cameras and something related to the full action framework. These tools would help us develop a potential and effective blue ocean strategy for ACN. The strategy cameras allows us to better understand the current state of the ACN and the strategy of other main autism-related charities in the whole industry. We would based on the type and the level of service provided in the current market space. And the full action framework would help us identify the new market opportunities for the ACN. So we can see as its strategy camera shows, ACN is currently competed in a red ocean where all the autism charities have the similar goals as ACN and offer similar service to the specific target market. It indicates that ACN is in a situation where increasing price, improving its service qualities are necessary. As reflected in these tables, it's also suggested ACN eliminate the heavy dependent on funder as its business model. Instead, I, we think ACNs can provide more high quality autism related service in the autism community. Also, we plan to reduce the cost from various business activities to generate more income. So you can see our two B strategy cameras. We added two factors in order to uh, create a new demand for customers and open a new market space for the ACN. So based on the full action framework and the strategy cameras, we recommend ACN create unique value to customers by expanding into the technological side of the services, which include creating a virtual assistant introducing online courses about autism and the mini game for the autistic individual. First, we recommend ACN use virtual assistant and chatbot with AI to improve its service quality. 
AI chatbot is operating through the AI chat robot. Customer can find it from the customer survey section on ACN website directly. The design of AI chatbot has the ability to deliver customer support 24-7. It means that customer can receive autism related support and information without physical boundaries. Especially beneficial for those living in rural areas that do not have a community groups. And it would also be an advantage for ACN because AI chatbot can be created for free using some platforms like Charity Boys, and it would reduce cost as well. However, the limitation is that AI chatbot is unable to make a significant impact on profits directly, and it needs further research about whether improving the quality of service can influence the awareness of ACN significantly. Despite that, it allows ACN to build a strong relationship with the customers. Secondly, introducing online courses would help ACN increase the variety of types of professional autism related service. And the membership program is also an ideal way for ACN to generate a consistent income and create a new value stream. This program allows autistic students to learn from home using a wide range of digital learning tools to connect them with our professional staff. The online account they have purchased will also receive the uh, notification about the weekly and the monthly reviews. In addition to de develop the professional skills of autistic peoples, we plan to offer more workshops and activities to foster their habits, such as cookie workshop. Besides, they can choose to attend the courses based on their own schedules which borrow more profits to autistic students and their families to purchase the online education membership through the ACN website. However, one crucial disadvantage is that online courses may lack engagement with autistic people. Okay, third, the purpose of developing games for autistic individual is to generate additional income for ACN. The games will be played easy for autistic individual to play and enjoy. ACN also can develop multiplayer game models. These models can help the autistic individual to develop teamwork skills, which is beneficial for their future employment. The games is not only limited to the autistic individuals. Other individuals who are interested may subscribe to the game as well. Okay, thank you. Next, Ninette would explain our second Blue Ocean strategy. Hi, I'm Lynette, and I'll be talking about the second strategy that ACN could use to increase its cash flow. Before I actually go into the second strategy, I would like to show the ERC framework that we have created. It's actually the same framework as the one that Toby had previously shown in her presentation as we decide to combine the two framework for the strategies so that it will be easier for us to identify and recommend the best strategy for ACN. For my part, I'll be discussing more in depth on the second business idea. So the second business idea is actually an agency company that connects autistic individuals and the hiring companies. The main idea of this strategy is to provide opportunity and support to autistic individuals that helps them to overcome the common barrier like inability to attend interviews, lack of support, and lack of understanding from the employers that they usually encounter while searching for a part-time or full-time job. The autistic individual usually struggle with finding a job because their abilities are often underestimated and underutilized by the hiring companies. Not only that, most professional jobs require them to have a good education background. As a result, the options for autistic individuals are always limited. What ACN could do is that it could work with other companies that emphasize on technical or mathematical skills, which are some of the skills that the autistic individuals are great at. So for example, in some cases, the autistic individuals are able to find unique solutions to the problem that average individuals are not able to. So yeah, so some of the companies that actually uh, emphasize on these skills are like Microsoft or NEY. When connecting with the autistic adults to a hiring company, 
The second business can provide training on the company's behalf to ensure that the autistic individual actually have the skill to work in those companies. But in some cases, if the hiring company decides to provide their own training program, yeah, they can do that as well. It's pretty flexible. And lastly, the main question is how the second business could make money is that they could charge commission fee for the services that they have provided for both parties. And the money that they have earned, which is the profit, will be all donated back to ACN. So in short, this is how the second business idea can be beneficial to ACN. Hello, I'm Zijian, and I'm going to talk about four hurdles and our budget. The first principle of ACN's BOS is to rebuild market boundaries to get rid of competition and create blue ocean. So it will face over hur four hurdles when implementing BOS. The first is a cognitive hurdle. Employees are used to the original business model, service model, and product, product logic of ACN. When ACN impl implements BOS, it should consider the cognitive barriers of its employees. It is recommended to introduce a human resource tool, MBO, because MBO is mainly for work that is difficult to quantify results and behaviors and also emphasize the participation of employees. This can effectively improve employee participation and the sense of mission for the company. The second hurdle is the limited resources. It is believed that the greater strategic uh, change, the more resources are needed to, to implement it. And SAN is not the most advantageous uh, position they need. One mean, which means that compared with those uh, more professional autism organization, ACN does not reflect its greatest value in service. So companies should focus on links in the value chain and form new links by integrating resources. The third is a motivational hurdle. How to encourage people to act quickly and uh, persistently? First of all, a simple and efficient system is a guarantee for improving execution. The role of system is to allow employees to effect effectively handle their work in adoring with a, a specified requirement and procedures. Secondly, building a corporate culture can also improve the uh, in business execution. Finally, scientific incentive measures are the other tool of improving execution. The fourth is a political hurdle. The, the political struggle among enterprises is very complicated. Therefore, it is necessary for the CEO of the, the ACN to effectively negotiate with the members of Australia government. Here is our budget. The budget cost generated according to the BOS is mainly reflected in three parts. First of all, is a need to set up introduction, uh, induction training situation institution for ASD group. Therefore, the budget for ACN training institution is uh, mainly reflected in three aspects. Ratio training venues, employees training service, and uh, psychological training service. Second, provide AI communication software for patients with uh, autism. The cost in this area is reflected in technology development, maintenance, and the later promotion. Third, is then also need to introduce outstanding management talent to real, re, realize the company's sustainable development. And finally, we can get specific figures that need to be spent in to implement ACN's BOS, which is $936,200. Autism service agency are promoting industry. Uh, an increasing number of Australian families have uh, realized the importance of train, treating uh, autism and have a more demand for ASD service. So considering using our blue ocean strategy can help ACN have a more opportunity to seize Australian autism 
market share and again more cash liquidity in the future. Thank you for watching.